Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And of course, we had our annoyances videos this week, but it's not all bad. Today, we're going to have a series of videos of things that you should know that exists within Windows 10 to actually help you and make your life a little easier with your computers. Now, this one will have to do with Windows updates and how much of bandwidth they use when they download. Windows updates, of course, have a certain size and some updates are bigger than others. And one of the biggest problems is that sometimes some users have a very limited uh, internet connection. It could be speed that's not very fast. It could be that you have a bandwidth cap, so you have a maximum amount of you know megabytes or gigabytes every month. So of course, Windows updates are there to take some of that, uh, and maybe that could be a problem for some of you. So there's ways to mitigate, actually, the um, Windows updates on how much, first of all, this is the video we're going to do here, how much bandwidth is going to take, how much speed you want to give Windows updates for the download of updates. So the first reason you would play with that would be because you know the speed of your internet connection. Say your internet connection is a 5 megabit per second connection, and you do you know, Zoom calls or video conferencing, it works on a 5 megabit, but it works as long as you don't have too much other things happening in the background. So Windows updates could be one of the problems in the background. It could be one of the problems where if it starts downloading Windows updates, then your you know connection starts to be crappy. It could be bad. It could be sluggish. So how do you do that? Go into your Start button and right-click on the Start button. In there, you'll go into Settings in Windows 10. Go into Update and Security. Now here, you will have Advanced Options. In the Advanced Options, if you go down, there's Delivery Optimization. Click here. It's far, I know, there's a lot of steps, but that's where it is. Um, one of the first things that you can check is um, allow downloads from other PCs. Um, one of them is PCs on my local network. I think by default it's PCs on my local network and PCs on the internet. What does that mean? That means that when those updates are a little bit done in what's called peer-to-peer, -peer, if you actually choose the option with PCs on the internet, that means that your PC and other PCs on the internet are connecting together to share Windows updates to make them faster, but it takes bandwidth. So I recommend to just PCs on my local network, which means if you have more than one computer, what's going to happen is that one might download the updates, and instead of downloading two or three or four times on your connection, it's going to download only once, and then it's going to be shared within your own network with computers at home or uh, at work. And of course, you can just turn this off, meaning you'll just have downloads and nothing else they're going to download. But how do you limit the download? Well, that is in the advanced options. In the advanced options, you have download setting. Now, if you know your internet connection speed, you can actually use what's called absolute bandwidth. And what's going to happen is here, you can put a check mark and limit the bandwidth for downloading uh, in the background or in the foreground also, it could be both. And then you will put the speed in megabits per second. So say you've got five megabits per second in internet connection. Well, you could limit both at one megabits per second, meaning that only one megabits per second will be used in the connection bandwidth. Four will be left for whatever else you do on the internet. That shouldn't slow down too much. Um, of course, if you've got faster, you could put more. Uh, in my case, I've got really fast internet, so I don't need to mitigate, but um, I know that a lot of you might want to do this. It could also be in percentage of measured bandwidth. So you don't know your speed, for example. Well, it doesn't matter. You, what you could say is, well, I want to limit the speed to 
10% of my internet connection speed. Well, simply put check marks in front of how much bandwidth and put the slider to 10%. Simply put at 10%, here we go. And put the other slider at 10% also. And what's gonna happen here is that this, whatever speed you have on your internet connection, it's never gonna use more than 10% of that speed to download updates. So it shouldn't show much. It shouldn't make a difference in the speed of your internet connectivity. And finally, there's also limiting bandwidth of how much you want to download in a month. So you have, of course, the bandwidth possibility. And so there's upload settings here. And of course, in these upload settings, you have the possibility to choose a maximum of bandwidth that you can choose. And you can say, well, I'm gonna choose that I can, you know, I have a 50 gigabyte cap. Uh, you don't wanna use 50 gigabytes to download everything. So you might say, well, I'm gonna limit to five gigabytes. What's gonna happen on the connection and so on. So that limit will actually, um, you know, make sure that you never go over the data cap that you use uh, because some of the updates could be too big. So these are all the options that you have available for the downloads of, uh, you know, the speed of download and how much bandwidth you're going to use in one month. And that could be very helpful for some of you out there. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and thank you for watching our videos on the channel.